Hi, I'm Chris with Case Master. Today we'll be going over the case file screens in Case Master Online. Before proceeding with this video, we recommend watching our general navigation video, as that goes over a few key navigation elements that we'll be assuming that you understand. Okay, let's get started. I'm logged into a demo database in version 1.1 of the application, so it probably looks a little different from yours, but the same features should apply. Upon loading a case file, you're presented with the main case information screen which offers a high-level overview of the file. The Case Info tab shows information related to the file status, case type, client, plaintiff, debtor, and accounts. Keep in mind that the case type can dictate the terminology used for the case file, so the wording on my screens may be slightly different than yours. You can expand each debtor to get additional information about them. If the debtor has a payment arrangement, you can see it here as well. You can see the last letter and last pleading document generated on this file, and view total payments. If there's an FJ or STIP on the file, it will appear in red in the top right-hand corner of the screen. The Notes tab is a quick view of the notes on the file, and allows you to quickly add a note. The User Defined Fields tab shows any UDFs that you have set up. Keep in mind that only UDFs that have a label defined are shown here. The Settings tab offers features that allow you to override settings at the file level. You can also open or close the file from this tab. Our next screen in the menu is the Account screen, where you can see information related to any accounts on this file. Keep in mind that a case file can have an unlimited number of accounts on it. The debt type dictates which fields are visible and can be configured under administration, lookups, debt types. The financials area is the most important part of the screen as it details important amounts, dates, and rates related to the account. You can navigate between accounts using the tabs at the top or add or delete an account using the buttons provided. The debtor screen provides detailed information about each debtor on the file. Name, address, and phone information is found in the main tab. You can also store alternate or bad addresses and phone numbers. The other info tab displays more detailed debtor information, like social security number, birth date, banks and employers, and attorney details. The Payment Arrangement tab allows you to set up and store a payment arrangement for this debtor. The Assets tab lets you store any vehicles or real estate that the debtor might own. The Litigation area is where you would enter general court details related to the case number, final judgment, stipulation, suit, and tax motions. The Main Info tab provides an area for general court information and suit and final judgment information. Note that the final judgment area affects the balance, and this is detailed in depth in another video. The other info screen allows you to store stipulation information and enter any counties where the FJ or SOJ was recorded. The motion to tax screen allows you to enter tax motions if a final judgment was entered. The case style screen allows you to generate a case style that you can use when merging documents. The Activity screen is where you view and update activity on the file. The check boxes at the top allow you to specify the type of activity to view. Notes are general activity notes entered by the user or by the system. Audits are a full listing of field changes on this case file. Documents show any documents that were generated. And Transactions show any transactions on the file. You can edit an activity, edit an activity note by double-clicking on it or clicking the Edit button. You can add an activity note by clicking the Add button and entering any pertinent information. You can also attach images to your activity notes. The Document screen is where you would merge a document based on the case file currently loaded. 
Simply select the appropriate document, select your account and debtor, and click the Generate Document button. Document generation is detailed in depth in another video. The imaging screen is where you can view and update any type of image or file on the case file. Images can be PDFs, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, email messages, audio or video files, and just about any other file type that you can imagine. You can upload an image by clicking the Add New button, providing a description of the image, and dragging an image into the drop zone. You can then view the image by clicking the image link next to it. The review screen is where you can view and update the reviews or ticklers on the file. Reviews can be assigned to a user to appear in the user's review list. You can change the defaults as needed. You can also view the history of the reviews to see how a file was worked over time. The financials area is where you can view the case file's balance, enter billing and checks to be printed, or enter court costs and transactions. This area is detailed in depth in another video, so we'll move through it quickly. On the balance screen, you can view a balance summary or balance detail with line by line entries that detail how the payment, cost, fees, and interest is allocated. On the billing screen, you can enter new bills, see items that have already been billed, and view paid bills. On the checks screen, you can enter checks that you would cut through the checks, uh, print checks feature in the accounting section of the application. On the transaction screen, you can view and edit all transactions related to the file. You can add a new transaction by clicking the add new button. Again, this area is detailed in another video. The problems area is where you can view potential problems with the file, such as missing or invalid data, and to make sure that there are no conflicts with other case files in your system. Click the check it button to run a check against the system and the results will be, will be reported here. And that wraps up this video. As always, if you have additional questions, feel free to contact us through the contact support icon on the application or through the website. Thanks and have a great day.